Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex or Nuznuz here, and today's video is going to be talking about five of the most challenging achievements on RuneScape 3. I know a lot of you sometimes struggle with goals, and a lot of the time I have people comment on my videos asking me what goals they should set for themselves and what to do if they're bored with the game. And setting a super hard challenge for yourself is a sure way to really get invested in the game again. So for this video, we are going to be taking a look at five of the the most challenging achievements in RuneScape 3. These won't be in any particular order, just the top 5 that I think are the most challenging based on skill, time spent, and length of the grind, but also satisfaction as well of actually completing the goal. Alright, so make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this, and let's get into the first challenge. So this first one is a classic endgame goal that many people have started going for and something that will keep you busy for thousands upon thousands of hours, and that is the Golden Reaper title, also known as the Insane Reaper Challenge. Now the Insane Reaper Challenge is an achievement that requires the player to complete every single boss log from all bosses except Nex AOD. Yes, this is just as long of a grind as you think. This means you have to get not only every single boss pet in the game, but also every single boss drop in the game, except the next AOD intricate chests, you only need to get one of those for the Golden Reaper title. Now, this is a personal goal of mine to get eventually, and you guys know me, I boss all the time, but if we look at my collection log, I still have a ton of logs to complete. This goal is by far one of the most time consuming uh, achievements that you can do. If any of you follow my friend Wazweir's channel, you know he has a Road to Golden Reaper series called Boss Man, and Cheris also has one as well. Now these logs take a good level of skill to get the kills needed for the drops, but also an immense amount of patience and time commitment to finish each and every log. So the next challenging achievement is going to be a similar challenge to the Golden Reaper, but with the Slayer skill, and that is the Ultimate Slayer achievement. This unlocks the Golden Ultimate Slayer title. Now this achievement requires you to complete the entire Slayer collection log. Now the Slayer collection log is broken up into geographic region of the game. For example, in Kromaja, you'll need to collect all the obsidian drops, and in Keldegrim, you'll need to get a dragon pickaxe drop. While this log doesn't seem to be as hard as others at first glance, don't let that fool you. There are some huge grinds on this log, including the Hex Hunter Bow, which is a 1 in 1.5 million drop rate from Soul Gazers or 1 in 1500 from the elite soul gazers which rarely spawn. The Nipper Demon pet is also dropped at a 1 in 30,000 rate from Ripper Demons. You need all uniques from Lava Strike Worms and Revenants, which will take up a huge amount of your time and your grind. And you'll also need all of the Raptor mob drops like the Camel Staff, the Wyvern Crossbow, and just a ton of items. There's just an absolute ton of unique Slayer drops in this achievement. And it's safe to say that if you complete this achievement and you become the ultimate slayer, you will most definitely have earned that title. So next we have something a little bit different, and that is the Iceborne titles, the Silver Iceborne title, and the Golden Iceborne title, which are unlocked from the Arch Glacier. Now these titles are unlocked for killing the Glacier at certain enrages. You need 500% for the Iceborne title, 2000% for the Silver Iceborne title, and 4000% for the Gold variant of the title. Now, as of now, there is only one player, which is Evil Lucario, who has defeated the Arch Glacier at 4000% in Rage, and the boss has been out for nearly a month. I'll link his video of that kill in the description if you haven't seen it already. It's definitely worth a watch. Now, these titles are an amazing goal to go for because you will undoubtedly make a ton of money at the Arch Glacier while you go for these. And the normal Iceborne title is actually really achievable for the average PVMer. And I honestly encourage anyone who's trying to learn a new boss like the Arch Glacier, you should set your sights on the normal Iceborne title at 500% in Rage. You can definitely do it. And then at the higher ranks, like the Golden Iceborne title, the 
the Golden Eyes Born title is by far one of, if not the hardest PVM achievement in RuneScape today. So next on our list, we have something a little different, which are clue scroll titles, but specifically the golden version of the Master of Clues title. Now this title requires you to receive all capes from Master Clues. You'll need one piece of second age melee, one piece of second age magic, and one piece of second age ranged equipment. You'll need the ultra rare Orlando Smith hat drop, and you'll need every single type of clue scroll die and all other uniques. Each clue tier has a variant of these titles, such as the Clue Chaser title for Elite Clues. For the gold variant of the Elite Clue title, you'll require every single reward from Elite Clues, including all Third Age Drudic, which is absolutely insane. These titles are going to take you a ton of time, a ton of clues, and just a huge grind. Clues are so, so much fun to do, and you'll make a boatload of money doing these. And if you don't want to aim for a super difficult title, you can always go for something like the Gold Digger Easy Clue title, which requires all Easy Clue score rewards, which will make you a ton of money while you do it, and it won't take you nearly as long as the others. Now, even though these are not PVM titles or achievements, these titles are very, very hard to get and take a considerate amount of time, patience, and a huge grind to be able to get all the rewards for these logs and unlock these extremely rare titles. All right, and finally, our last challenge is the Trimmed Completionist Cape. Now, this is awarded to players who have basically completed RuneScape and it's awarded by finishing almost all major content in the game. This means completing all quests, maxing all your skills, getting 120s on all the elite skills, getting all the achievements, getting all the court cases, killing 4,000 chompy birds, completing the entire breeding log at player-owned farms, completing the entire dinosaur breeding log at the ranch out of time, completing all of ports with all the rewards, completing the arc completely for the salty title, completing Barbarian Assault. Basically, Trim Comp is completing almost everything in RuneScape, and then of course you'll receive the Trim Completion Escape. Now of course this doesn't require some certain things like the Golden Reaper or Clue Scroll Logs or anything like that. Now people can debate whether this should require a lot of PVM stuff since it's technically like one of the hardest capes you can get in the game. It's a cape signifying that you've basically done everything that you could. Um, so it's basically like going for the normal completionist cape, but bumped up to a whole nother level. And it's an extremely long grind, but this is a grind with a lot of variety. You'll be doing different stuff, like you could be doing the arc, you could be skilling, you could be killing bosses. There's all sorts of stuff for getting trim comp. So this is a great and super long and challenging goal for anyone up for the challenge of technically completing runescape if that can even be done all right so what did you guys think of these challenges have you been motivated to do any of these now i know that i still want to get golden reaper and i'd like to potentially go for the silver iceborne title and i do like you doing clues especially hard clues so maybe the hard clue title would be something i could go for in the future as well which one of these achievements do you guys want to most go for and what achievement do you think should have been on this list that wasn't on the list like i said i did include everything like the warden title title, silver, gold, normal word and title are also something that could have been included. And there's a bunch of other things. So let me know what you guys think should have been on this list too. But if you enjoyed a, this different type of video or if it motivated you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. We're almost at 16k. So let's see if we can get there. That would be amazing. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.